Welcome to my video on the Minolta 70-210 f4 Maxim. Uh, this is a lens that was introduced by Minolta in the mid-1980s as part of their successful rollout of their new autofocus system. It had a new mount called the A-mount and um, it was one of many lenses that they marketed at the time. Now, Minolta had a long history uh, in the photography industry, and their name is really synonymous with uh, innovation. Uh, they started in the late 1920s, they grew through the decades, and kind of rode the wave of the growing interest in photography. And in the mid-80s, they introduced this innovative autofocus system. They marketed it under the names either Maxim, Alpha, or Dynex depending on where you lived, and their cameras and autofocus system were considered state-of-the-art technology at the time. And this lens was one of their most popular. It was affectionately known as the beer can, no doubt due to its shape, and it, it gained legendary status amongst Minolta users. And it was part of an extensive lineup of, of lenses that Minolta rolled out, coupled with a, uh, a very robust advertising campaign uh, in both magazines and television. If you're old enough to remember, you may remember uh, Minolta's tagline from the 80s was only from the mind of Minolta. Uh, and this, this may have been the heyday for Minolta, the mid-1980s. By the early 90s, the photography industry was starting to consolidate. Minolta and Konica merged, and by 2005, uh, Konica and Minolta uh, left the photography business and sold their uh, camera technology to Sony. Now you think this would be the end for this lens and the A-mount, but that's not the case. Sony continued to market uh, DSLRs using this A-mount system all the way up to 2020. So just a few years ago they discontinued this system. Since then, they've continued to support their old A-mount lenses with adapters that will adapt these A-mount lenses to Sony E-mount cameras. And uh, these are readily available also. So, uh, this represents a great buy. Um, you can use it with the adapter on Sony E-mount cameras. Now, if you're looking for a new Sony FE 70-200 to F4, that is a fantastic lens. It's um, much better than this lens. It's new technology, but it's about $1,600. Uh, and as I said, if you look hard on eBay, you can find these very inexpensively for around $50. And that represents a great buy for the level of quality of this lens. And you can use this lens while you're saving your money to buy that more expensive Sony FE. Um, this lens can, can provide fantastic results. The optics are great. Um, it's got internal zoom as opposed to many of the older zooms, which were push-pull. It's got a constant f4 aperture, and it's sharp even wide open. It's got fantastic optics. Uh, for, as I said, for a while these commanded a, a, a premium price, but, but now if you look hard, you can find good copies of this for around $50. Now, one thing to note, Minolta offered a few versions of their 70 to 210 lens. There's a 70 uh, to 210 f4.5 to 5.6, and there's a 70 to 210 f3.5 to 4.5. But both of those lenses are not as well constructed as this, as this lens. They're a little more cheaply made, more like a kit lens. Um, if you're going to buy a Minolta 70 to 210, the F4, this copy is the kind to get. It's, it's the one you want. Now here are a few photos that I took using uh, this lens, this adapter, and this Sony A7. Uh, you'll see that it, it's great. Uh, it works well. Autofocus works fine for me. It's probably not as fast as with the new lenses, but it still works. Uh, and overall, this is a great buy. Uh, take a look at the photos, and thanks for watching.